What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to change the colors of vector images in Adobe Photoshop. Now when I'm usually working with vector images I would normally use Adobe Illustrator but there are some cases where I need to use vector images in Photoshop and I'm going to show you how to change the colors of those vector images such as this one in Adobe Photoshop. So let's get started. So as you can see, I already have Photoshop up and running. I have the Starry's logo, the Starry's Lemon Lime Soda logo. I also have the Crush logo and the Fanta logo. So what we're gonna be doing is changing the colors of these vector images as if there's several different flavors of each soda. So if we look at the Starry's logo, you can see that it has a yellow, a green, a black, and a white. So let's try to change this to like a, hmm. Let's try to make this a, a strawberry soda. So let's change this yellow and green into like a red color. So let's first bring up our hue and saturation window in Photoshop. So to quickly do that, you can use the keyboard shortcut Command U to bring that up. So Command U. And you can see that we have a window that looks like this. So I'm gonna make sure preview is on right over here. And I can't zoom in on this thing, so I gotta do this. Okay, so if we look at this window, you can see that there's an option right here that looks like a hand pointing up with a couple arrows that move from the left and to the right. So we're gonna click on that option. And now if we go onto our Photoshop document, you can see that it activates the eyedropper tool. And that's Photoshop asking us what color in your document already do you want to change the color of. So in my case, I wanna change the yellow and the green. So I'm gonna sample this yellow just by clicking anywhere in that area. And now we have the yellow color sampled, which is what this bar is right here. So from there, we can now change the color of that yellow to any color we want. So in my case, I wanna change the colors of this Starry's logo to make it look as if it's serving strawberry soda. It's giving strawberry soda. So now after selecting this yellow color here, I can now play around with this hue toolbar and with preview on, I can just slide this little slider over here and I can now see what results I get if I move this anywhere along this line. Now since I wanna make this into a strawberry soda logo, I'm gonna move this towards the left and make that into like a red or maybe a hot pink color like so. So now we can see that that yellow is now red. Now from there, you can also change the saturation of that color just by moving this slider along this line. You can make it super saturated, you can make it desaturated, or you can make it completely gray, or you can leave it how it was. Um, if you can't find the direct center of it, you can use this little option right here and type in zero. And if you wanna change the lightness of this color here, you can drag this slider along this toolbar underneath lightness to change the lightness of it or the brightness. So if you wanna make it completely white, slide it that way. If you wanna make it completely black, slide it that way. You know, the choice is yours. But yeah, I'm gonna set it to zero because I don't wanna change that. And now after doing that, you can hit okay. And there we go. So now we have one part of this Starry's logo change, but I wanna keep going because there are three other colors within this vector image. So I'm gonna go back to hue and saturation or use the keyboard shortcut command U. And now we can sample a different color. So let's go back to our finger option right here. I'm gonna call it a finger option because that's literally a hand with a finger pointing up. So I'm gonna refer to that as the finger option click that click this green color sample that green color and now I'm gonna change that green color to like a similar red just like this but maybe like a little bit darker but I might change this green to more like a like a magenta color sort of similar to this red up here so I'm gonna play around with this hue toolbar here and um, I kind of like that like magenta look i like that okay and i can make it darker if i want by using the lightness toolbar like that then hit okay 
All right, and there we go. So now it really does give a uh, strawberry soda. Now that I changed the color of this lemon up here from a yellow to this red and this line down here from a green into like a dark magenta color. So now let's switch to the Crush logo and I'm gonna show you guys how to turn that into like a grape soda logo because you know, kinda like loves grape soda. Okay, so here we have the Crush logo and as you can see, it's not really a PNG image compared to the Starry's logo that we just messed with. So the reason I call it a poster is because it has a background to it. Like you can see that it has an orange background and um, a similar orange color to like this orange peel right here. And I forgot to say this back when I did the Starry's logo, any color that you select will apply throughout the entire uh, Photoshop document. So if I sample just this green color right here and do what we just did, it'll change everything about it that's that same green color or around that same green hue. Like I'll show you in a second. So let's hit the crush layer. Command U to bring up our hue saturation window. And now let's sample this orange color. So I'm gonna use our finger option here. And with my eyedropper tool here, I can select any area that's orange because I wanna change that color. All right, and now I can play with this hue toolbar right here. And I'm gonna change this orange into a purple. So I'm just gonna move this slider along here. And you can see that every single part of this uh, Photoshop document that's orange, that's now changing. Like the orange on the orange peel and the background, including like these little uh, areas right here. So every single piece of my Photoshop document that's orange, I sampled that color. And now every part of this uh, document that's orange is now changing. I can now manipulate that. So I'm gonna change that to like a dark purple color. Like, this is a good color, I like that color. Okay, so let's hit okay. All right, and now let me sample this uh, green color. So select layer again, command U. Finger option here, select the green color. And now I'm gonna change that to maybe a slightly darker purple. So I'm just gonna move this slider along here. Hmm, that looks good, I like that. Okay, so I also messed with the lightness toolbar to change that from a super dark purple to this purple. And that's looking pretty good to me. So I'm gonna hit okay on this window. And now let's change this yellow. So I'm not sure what to change that to. But with this option, we can still experiment with different colors. And if we're not satisfied, we can just simply move the slider along the toolbar that we had. So click the layer again, command U, finger option, select anywhere that's yellow. And then with preview still on, we can now experiment with different colors to see what exactly works best for this uh, grape crush. <laughs> so let's uh, just move this slider along here to see what we get. I think I'm liking this, uh, this pink color, not a hot pink color, but somewhere around here, but let me desaturate that a little bit. Actually, no, let me, yeah, I'm just experimenting here. Ooh, okay, okay, I like this one. This one works. Yeah, this works. So I'll play with the saturation, i play with the lightness a little bit as well. So I'm gonna hit okay. And now this Crush logo is giving grape soda. But now let me switch to the Fanta logo so I can show you guys how to turn that logo into like a blueberry soda flavor. Okay, so now we're on to the Fanta logo and that's also a PNG image just like the Starry logo that we started out with. So we're gonna follow our same steps. Just click on the layer that's over here. Command U to bring up our hue and saturation window. And looking at this logo, we, are, we can already see that there's a blue color to the Fanta logo. And I don't see a need to change the leaf as well. So I think I'm gonna end up changing this orange color because you know, blueberry is a circle and so is this orange circle that's behind this text here. So I might just end up changing the orange and just uh, making that into like a lighter version of this blue that's already here. So um, finger option here, select an area that's orange. 
and play around with this hue toolbar here. And really you can make this into any flavor. Like if I scroll back over here, I turn this into a strawberry flavor. And if I move closer to this way, it looks like a, like a fruit punch flavor. And uh, this one looks like a grape. Let's go back to the other side of this toolbar here. Like this is giving pineapple and this is giving lemon lime. But what I need is a uh, blue color. So let me uh, see if I can find a blue. So it looks like I can't find a blue, but that's okay. So I'm gonna hit okay on this window real quick. And then I'm gonna bring it up one more time. So command U. And then I'm gonna use our finger option again, select that specific green. And now we can look for a blue. And now this is easier to find a certain blue that I want. And I'm looking towards this one, like that's kind of giving blueberry, right? Yeah. Okay, move this slider over a little bit here. And I kind of like that one. Okay, so let me see if I can change that. And then what happens when I make it dark? Well, I don't want to necessarily make it darker because it'll clash with the blue that's already here. But we can also change that too. So, I think I like that. That's giving blueberry, right? Yeah. So now I'm gonna hit OK on this window. Now that I'm satisfied with all the changes. And that's looking pretty good. It kind of does look like a blueberry now that I think about it. You got a blueberry circle and then a leaf coming from it. Yeah, blueberry. <laughs> blueberry Fanta. But let me know down in the comments, would you buy Blueberry Fanta, Grape Crush, or Strawberry Stars? I don't know, I'm, I just might when I go to the store. I might just go to the store after filming this video. But yeah, I would get one of these. I might just get the Blueberry Fanta that probably exists already, but you know. But yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you change the colors of vector images in Adobe Photoshop. So if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.